G'day guys, and today Shorty and I are going to create a bit of a discussion about the six day break. Six I day break. think this is the most overrated thing used in footy since I have no idea, but <laughs> it's um, so often it's used as an excuse, and I think, yeah, it just shouldn't be used as an excuse. Surely the the fixture is released at the start of the season, so you can plan for it. And then once it comes around to it, or after it, and then coaches blame it for the uh, if they lose, for example, and then they blame their loss on that. It's like, well, every team has six day breaks. Sometimes you might get the rough end of the stick, but yeah, I, I think uh, it shouldn't be used as an excuse. It's part of the game. You can't control the fixture. What do you think, mate? Exactly. I mean, you you can't always play on a Friday. You can't always play Saturday. I mean. Like you say, I mean, I think repeat six day breaks can start to yeah to mount up and, and hurt. But again, the fixture generally is kind enough to not allow that. But yeah, it's very overrated. I mean, you never hear anyone go, "I'm oh, I'm tipping the dogs because they just had an eight day break." No, exactly I mean, right, mate. Just exactly. Just six day break seems to get talked about. And I heard a coach, I'm not sure who it was, but saying someone asked him, "What what's actually the difference that you struggle or don't get out of?" And it's just lack of recovery. So I mean. It's a, you might be slightly less prepared, but it'd be the most marginal percentage. Exactly, yeah. And that uh, isn't going to fully turn a match, which sometimes uh, sides and coaches alike tend to think it does. So, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's certainly overrated, that's for sure, I think. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, was it Jackie Carlisle last year? That, there was this footy show on, on the AFL site that used to be on, and they had the Blunston boots and stuff that they gave to the players after the... After the uh, yeah the little interview with them, I can't quite remember what it was called. And they are, uh, Geelong played Essendon. I think they were both potentially undefeated at the time. And uh, you know, Jakey, oh, well, what what do you think happened with your boys in uh, in losing? Do you think it was the six day break? And it's like seriously, you're gonna blame a six day break on the back of that as to. To being the excuse of you losing, it's that's a horrible excuse. Yeah, uh, good sides don't make excuses, and as Ross Lyon says, we're a no excuse football yeah, team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very it's, robotic, uh, but um, that's Ross. Yeah, it is, and I mean, sure, it's nice to have a, a bit of an extra break, but once match day rolls around, you know, they're elite footballers. Their fitness is elite. You see, guys, Collingwood playing with, you know, one person on the bench. I mean, yeah. what's more costly, that or a six day break? They still won. Sides still get up from six day breaks. Exactly. You mentioned the Hawks uh, the other day last night. They still got up and they'll come back from Perth. So I think they had two six day breaks as well. Well, well there you go. Potentially. So that that just highlights the argument. Hawthorne are an excellent team as well, so it gives them a bit of a outlet there, I guess. But um, yeah, yeah, it's that all part the, of being a good side, isn't it? Absolutely. Dealing with that. So. Mm. Well, those are some of the thoughts from Shorty and myself on the six day break. And comment what you think. Is the six day break Really, that big of a deal? Does it make a difference to how your side performs? Is it just overrated? Who knows? But uh, that, we, we certainly think it is, and we want to hear what you think. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to us as well. That's always good. And we've got our Twitter accounts in the description below. Chuck some more followers our way. That'd be uh, muchly appreciated. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you all soon.